What's up guys? Today we're back with another episode of Scrapyard Science. In the last two episodes we did a car engine with no oil and it lasted about 36 seconds and then we did water instead of engine oil and that one lasted about 50 seconds and today we're going to replace the engine oil with vegetable oil and see how long it will last. One thing to keep in mind with this car is the exhaust has already been cut so when I fire it up and have it held wide open it's probably going to be rather loud so when we get to that part you may want to go ahead and turn your sound down or at least be aware of it. But let's take a closer look at the car, I'll get the oil drained and we'll see what happens. Today's test subject is this old Chevy Lumina with an 8.1 liter 692 horsepower engine. We're going to get the oil drained out of that in just a second and replace with vegetable oil. But unlike last time, this car is actually in pretty rough shape. The last car only had about 145,000 miles on it and actually ran pretty good, but the transmission was bad. This car is pretty beat up and pretty rough all the way around. And since I've shown you how many miles were on all the other ones, this one has 187,262 miles. All right, I've got the engine oil drained and we're getting ready to fill it up with the vegetable oil. But just so you guys can see, there is no oil on the dipstick. Not sure what the oil capacity is for this car, but I've only got one gallon of vegetable oil, so that's gonna have to be enough. Should be more than enough, but I'm just gonna add the whole gallon, so if it's too much, oh well. Well, it won't be too much, I missed a little bit. It's just above the full line now. It's coming up to about right here, and the full line is there. So, pretty good actually. Just like last time, I did not drain the oil filter, and of course there's gonna be a little bit of residual in the motor, so there is a tad bit of actual engine oil in there, but it's basically all vegetable oil. Let's get this thing fired up and see what happens. All right guys, we're getting ready to fire this thing up. Just remember we are closed. It is a Sunday, there is nobody here. And then also that I am an untrained professional. Just like last time, I've got the gas pedal propped all the way to the floor, so it's gonna run wide open. And this is your last reminder that this thing has no exhaust and is gonna be very loud. So when I get over there and hit the key, it's gonna be loud. Don't say I didn't warn you, but here goes nothing. That thing ran for a very long time, <laughs> way longer than I expected. Uh, this video has been going on for about 15 minutes and 30 seconds and I maybe talked for about 30 seconds of this clip before I went to fire it up. So it probably ran for about 15 minutes. That was not a very catastrophic shutdown. With all that racket and noise, I was hoping we would maybe finally get something that uh, throws a rod or does something a little more catastrophic with as much noise as that thing was making I normally stand pretty far back or behind a big wall or a trailer or something but this one I kept getting further and further back because the more noise it started making I thought for sure it was finally gonna blow apart but it didn't we'll give it just a second and uh, I'll try to fire it back up and see what happens well, it's been sitting for about 30 or 45 minutes since it shut down, so let's hit the key and see what it'll do.
that time it ran for just over nine minutes or right around nine minutes and like i said the first time it ran for about 15 minutes both times i believe it just ran till it got so hot that it shut itself down i'm sure that if i waited another 30 or 45 minutes and tried to fire it back up it would start but it is getting pretty late in the evening on a sunday and i don't want to keep just running this thing because it's extremely loud and annoying but i am very surprised that this thing made it this long wide open with vegetable oil it almost makes me wonder would vegetable oil be a viable option if you didn't have motor oil available and i almost forgot but let's check the engine oil and see how the dipstick looks it actually doesn't look too different from like a clean newer engine oil it's kind of that goldish color the dipstick's very hot so i'm not going to touch that but i don't see any signs of anything other than oil so that's good well guys that's going to be it for this one i would definitely say it's a success this thing ran for basically 24 minutes wide open with vegetable oil instead of engine oil so if i was stranded somewhere and needed engine oil and all i had was vegetable oil i would probably use it and try to get by now that is not advice that you should use vegetable oil in your engine because you probably shouldn't i'm sure it's not good for the engine but it seems to be that it would at least run for a period of time and maybe get you out of a bad situation also, people ask me a lot why I do these videos with the engine wide open instead of just at idle, and this is the reason why I anticipated that with some of these experiments, they would just run for a long time, and if we had done this thing just at idle, it probably would have ran all night long and into the morning, but that doesn't really make for an exciting video. So maybe one day I'll try that and just leave something running overnight, but then again, I'd be a little bit scared of a fire hazard or something like that, but... Overall, I would say that this worked out pretty good and we'll come back tomorrow and try to fire this thing up and I'll be sure to give you guys an update how that goes. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.